Class D quarterfinals took place Tuesday night. Sault Ste. Marie High School was electric. Two top-notch teams, Hillman versus Powers North Central. Tigers fell short of beating Goliath, but here are the highlights from Tuesday's contest. The Hillman Tigers getting ready to take on undefeated Powers North Central for the Class D quarterfinals. The Jets had won 80 straight before this contest, the nation's longest winning record. And this place was absolutely buzzing on Tuesday night. First quarter, Andrew Funk gives the Tigers the first points of the game with the three-pointer. But the Jets answer with the three of their own from Dawson Bilski. Not a bad way to start off with each squad hitting consecutive threes. But North Central put their foot on the pedal thanks to Jason Wines. Here he goes, driving from the right ring. That's hard to stop. Gives the Jets a 16-9 lead, but Banks is going to mess around, pump fake, and drill the silky three-pointer. Oorah! Banks is going, only going to heat up some more, so Hillman Trail is going into the second. More widens, and that freight train won't be denied. The Jets lead is back up to double digits. But the Tigers had to go to their guy wearing number 20 to get this game close. Brandon Banks. Powers takes a five-point lead heading into the half, 34 to 29. The third quarter, though, was a disaster. Missed shots and layups quickly turned into easy points as Jason Wines' Euro steps his way to two points. That kid had 31 points on the night. Huge. And the Jets just kept converting on transition points to give themselves a 46 to 33 lead heading into the fourth. And Jason Wines continued to be prob problematic for the Tigers offense, making defensive plays and returning the favor on the other end. Huge bucket, 54 to 39 advantage powers. But this is why Hillman was third in state. Wines throws a lazy pass, Banks steals the rock and the layup is good. Momentum is shifting. Three minutes to play in the game. Banks from the parking lot, are you kidding me? Nothing but nylon. He put up 22 points for the game for the Tigers. Cuts the lead to single digits in defense. Causes two straight turnovers. Who's going to make the big shot? Gunnar Levy takes his time. 247 left. It's Jared Jurgens for three. Yes, sir. No one's down six. The orange and black need a stop. But this three-pointer from the Jets, Marcus Krachensky, extends the lead again. Huge setback for Eric Mashensky's squad. Jason Wines would deliver the game ceiling make as he weaves his way past defenders for the coast-to-coast -coast basket. Powers North Central wins 81 straight with that victory. Hillman falls 74-61 to 61 to Powers North Central. WBKB Sports cut out with Tigers head coach Eric Mashensky to hear what he had to say after the game. I thought at spurts we did a pretty good job getting at him a little bit, you know, trying to force him into some tough situations. You know, and then we'd get away from it a little bit, you know, so we were kind of knocking on the door a little bit and we were giving them some pressure. But I tell you what, you know, those guys of, uh, you know, sort of third straight quarterfinal experience, you could see that in moments, you know, they knew when to go and they knew when to slow it down. You know, credit to my kids, I mean, they kept battling, um, you know, every possession. I've been coaching 12 years in Class D basketball and I haven't witnessed a team that was so smooth in transition. I thought, you know, we battled 80 other games other than us have been in the same situation, so. Hats off to the guys. I thought we fought. We never quit. And, uh, you know, that's all you can ask for as a coach. The Hellman Tigers season brought a school record with 24 wins in a season. The Tigers will lose some seniors next year, but head coach Eric Mashensky says he's confident in next year's team.